Okay, Shirley Rocks here. A bit of a fun little tutorial today. Now, I've been using this, which is the new um, PlayStation Plus app on Premium, where you can stream your games. It's pretty awesome. I thought the interface was absolutely terrible, though, because you've got certain genres on here. You've got must play, you've got action, you've got sports, you've got adventure, you've got uh, A to Z near the bottom. Well, you got A to B, C to D, E to G, you get the idea. There's no search. And I thought, this is just ridiculous. Why is there no search? So I came over onto La Reddit and found this thread. Now, uh, there's a user here called Blinkroot who has posted how to mod your launch yet. So you've, you basically get a search box. And, you know, when you read something on the internet and you like... Somebody sat at Sony getting paid thousands of dollars a year and somebody off the internet has done something which should have been in from day one. So um, I'm just going to do this video because we're going to go through it to show you how to do it. So this is a link to the GitHub. So we're going to go here and we're going to go through it. Let me just close down my, my meme pictures in the background. So um we, we need to follow the steps on this so it says there's two easy steps so we need to unpack our app asr right so open a terminal as administrator so i'm assuming by terminal you mean command prompt so if we type in command right click do run as admin there we go so this is this is a thing called dos I think it's still called DOS. Yeah, I've not been in this for many <laughs> years. So, uh, first of all, we need to go to this folder, which is where you install PlayStation Plus 2. So, you might be able to copy and paste this to it. I think my path should be the same. First of all, you probably need to go to your root, which is CD backslash, takes you to your root. And then you can paste it in because I am actually in um, admin mode. I think it enables pasting. So you can do it like that, or if you don't want to do it like that, you can just do CD, program, and then you, if you press tab, it will show you similar name fo folders. So we're looking for program files 86. I'm assuming that is 86 because I'm on 64-bit Windows, so you can do it like that, or you can actually just type it in as well, I think. Um, let's see, will that work? Yeah, that's how it works. Right, so we need to go and CD program files uh, 86. Um, you can then type in, okay, PlayStation Plus. Then we need to go into AGL. And then we need to go to a folder called Resources. I cannot spell. There we go. Right, so we're in that now. Right, now, next step. There should be an app.asr in this folder. So if you type in dir, which is short for directory, you can see I have got a file there called app.asr, and it's over 3.7 meg. Right, so uh, this is in an archive format for compressing your Electron app. Uh, we need to unpack it. So we're going to do what it says. So we're going to type in npx uh asr extract uh space app asr and then space again and then app okay so npx is an unrecognized command ah so how do we how do we unpack that then um i've not got a command to unpack that Let's see, does it mention anywhere else in here? I think somebody did say in the comments they had trouble doing it. The second command gave me an error. CNPX is not recognized. Wait a minute, did I type that in wrong? Um, there we go, continue this thread. So you're probably missing node.js. NPX is included with it. I'll add that to the docs. Okay, so we need this then, whatever this is. <laughs> node.js. Right, so we'll grab this and install it. So as I said, I thought it'd be fun to just go through this and show you the step-by-step -step because a lot of these people do tutorials just show you it all running from the start. And as you can see, there is teething problems at the start. So. Hopefully this is going to fix it.
I'm assuming this node.js is going to have a um, a runtime thing for N this npx command. Okay, right, now let's go back into the steps in here. Let's go back into my command prompt again. Let's type the command in again. Oh, no, why is that not working? Let me open another command prompt. It might be because I've only just installed that. Right, do we have access to the NTX command now? Okay, it looks like we have got that command now because I just typed that in. Uh, type X, okay. I don't know what any of that's even done, so we're going to pretend we didn't see any of that. Right, let's let's go, let's go back into the program file thing. So, cd that, cd PlayStation Plus, cd AGL, cd resources. Okay, now we're going to try and do this command again. So, npx asr extract, and then it was. What was it next? Extract APP ASR APP. Okay, so it's doing it now. So it looks like it's. Oh, no. Okay, to proceed. Oh, it wants me to install a package. So we'll just type in yes. I should have done it now. Right, this generates an APP folder in the same directory. So let's type in DIR and C. So I've got a folder there called APP. Nice. Right. So the launcher will either look for the APP ASR archive or this new unpack folder. Let's rename the old APP ASR. Okay. So we're going to rename app.asr to APP ASR.back. Okay. It can't be used. Okay. So it's probably being used because I've got this open already. Quit this app. Okay, now we'll try and run that command again. So there you go. I've renamed that folder, well, that program now to .bak. Now we need to edit the preload context isolation.js. So we need to open up a, full, a file in app. So it needs to be app HTML. Um, and there should be a file in here called preload.context isolation.js. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up in Notepad++ because it is glorious. And we're going to go file, open, and we need to go back into this folder again. So it was x686. It was in PlayStation Plus. It's in uh, AGL. It's in resources. It's in app. And we are then in HTML, I believe we were looking in. Yeah, HTML. Right. So then we load preload context dot isolation. So it's this one. Cool. Right. Let's expand this so we can see what we're doing. Side. So we'll be writing all our code underneath this line here. So if we do control and F and search for VAR GKP equals function, uh, open bracket, close bracket, uh, curly bracket. I don't know what the coding or technical term for that is. So we're looking for that line. Okay, so it's here right at the top where the functions are, de are, de are declared. So directly underneath, we'll be pasting this code. All of this code? Uh, okay. So I'm assuming I, I post the code before all of this stuff. Now bear in mind, I've not done this before, so this could be completely wrong what I'm doing. So um, we're going to paste all this code in. Now, does it mean I paste the code in and overwrite the existing stuff? Or do I... I can't see we get rid of all this existing code, though. No. I I think we just add this in here. So it was under here. 
Okay, so we're going to save that there like that. We're going to save it. Uh, do you want to launch Notepad in? Oh, do you want to? So you got to open the program in, in editor mode. Well, admin mode, sorry. Right, let's find that line of code again. Where was it? So it was there. Right, so. Now, is that what I've just pasted in? First line is wait for catalog list. Okay, so we don't need to put that space in there. So now we'll try and save again. Let's see if this works. Save the file. Bear in mind the reverse engineering that line is great limits the approaches. Um, in the background, the launcher doing the following. So this should, hopefully, this should work now. We'll keep that open in case we've completely done that wrong, and at least we can undo it. So let us try and launch it now. Let's see if an idiot like me who doesn't do programming can follow this. Hopefully, this is added. A search thing, right? Fetching titles. So this is new. I've not seen this before. Ooh, will this have worked? Now, was there any? Was there any other little notes? Uh, so at the moment, it's getting the list of all the titles, um, the little square title image HTML elements, and for each element, it's grabbing the URL and the image. After it's fetched all the titles, it auto completes the fields. And that's where you were going to type stuff in. So, hopefully. Oh, <laughs> watch this now. Right, so here we go. So let's type in. There you go. Doom. Um, so one, th one thing I've noticed on this, there is there's a big thread on uh, Reddit about this. There's a lot of games missing off here. So I'm trying to think what games I know is on here. So say like Ghost of Tsushima is on here. So... Let's search for that. So there you go. That works. I can go to home now. I can delete that. I can just type in like ape, ape escape, um, ratchet and clank. Oh, that's so good. So anyway, that's how you do diddly what I did. Uh, let me know if that's helped you. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, ask me and thanks again so much to i'll give you a big shout out thanks a lot for um to blink root who posted this i don't understand how you did that and it's like one of the people actually uh <laughs> one of the people commented on this thread saying yep you should have a job with them because that should have been in from day one but anyway there you go. That's how you reverse engineer the PlayStation Plus launcher and add a search bar, which I think is marvellous. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video and a uh, like on it if you did find it useful. And also comment if you, like I said, if you've got any queries. I'll try and answer you. But as you've seen, I've just gone through the process from start to finish. So hopefully you can follow along and even you too can do what I did. See you next time.